Hello everybody. Today, I'll show you a service for creating images using artificial intelligence called Lexica.art. I've titled this video Beginner's Guide because creating images in Lexica.art is very easy, even for non-professionals. There are not many settings here. The service does everything automatically. You only need to set the prompt and specify the desired image size. I'll leave the link in the video description. On the main page, you'll see all the images previously created by users of this service. We'll come back to these images later and talk about how we can use them. To start creating our own images, we need to register. Click the Get Started button. For a quick registration, I'm using my Gmail account. Choose my login and confirm. Everything is ready and we can start working. To create images, I click the generate button. Before us is the workspace. As I mentioned, there are almost no settings. We only have a field to enter a description of the image we want. At the bottom, there's a field to enter a negative prompt. On the right, we have only one setting to change the image size. No other settings. To get an image, we need to give the system a task, what kind of image we want. For example, I wrote a prompt like this, raccoon in the forest in the style of oil paints. I click the Generate button. In a few seconds, the system gives us the result, and we see what we wanted. We have four images with a raccoon in the forest. All four images are created in the style of oil paintings. In my opinion, it looks good. Let's change the task and create a different prompt. Let's type in chibi-style animated raccoon in the forest. The system again solved the task well and gave us what we asked for. I showed you the simplest example of how to create images by entering only the simplest requests. Now let's see how we can create images using more complex prompts. For this, let's go back to the main page and look at images that were previously created by users of this service. Based on this, we'll try to create similar images. For example, I like the image of a panda reading a book. I click on the image, and in front of me is all its description. I study what the author said before creating the drawing. If everything is clear and I like it, I copy the description by clicking the copy prompt button. Then I go to the image generation page and paste the copied text into the describe your image field. I click the generate button. Here's what I got. Naturally, not exactly like the original, but very similar. Let's try to create another image. This time, I choose a picture of a cat reading a newspaper. As in the previous case, I study what the author said before creating the drawing. As I mentioned in the description, it says, a cute cat with a coffee and newspaper sitting in a busy New York City metro. I click the copy prompt button. 
I paste the copied text into the Describe your image field. Now I will change the image size and set the width to 1280 and the height 768. I click the Generate button. Original. The system not only creates a cat for me, but also a girl reading a newspaper in the subway. Whatever it may be, I got the image of the cat very well. So, I click the download button and save the image on my computer. Now you know how to use the image creation service with the help of artificial intelligence called lexica.art. I say goodbye to you for now and until our next meeting.